hope you're good. Today I would like to share my experiences with you about the Roly Seaboard in combination with Cubase's note expression capable synths like the Rachel Log, Pet Shop and the Halion synth line. Also I'll show you how to use Halion with your Seaboard in a standalone situation. Let's get started. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we use uh, the Seaboard Rise with the standard MPA synths that come with the Roly, like Equator. Normally you put on an instrument track or a MIDI track and you have to make sure that all the channels are coming in. So put this on any. Of course in your Roly dashboard, we have to set uh, everything like an MPE setting. So multi-channel mode, MP mode must be on 2 to 16 and we leave the pitch range on 48, the standard settings. Back in Cubase, we have equators well set up. Any MIDI channel is coming in. So we put it on monitoring, we open it, the synth. Here I took Amazon layers as a patch and now we can play. <laughs> and it's fully MPA compatible. So now we're going to take a look at how we set up the Seaboard with, for instance, Retrolog. In Retrolog, we don't, we have to make sure that we set the channel to channel one. So not any channel like we did uh, with e Equator or with the Strobe, so with, with MPE uh, capable synthesizers, but we put it on channel one. Um, then we switch to the Roly desktop because we have to make sure that uh, we leave the channel mode in multi, of course, but the MPE mode must put off. If we leave it on, um, it seems like it's working, but uh, I found out that, for instance, the slide modifi uh, modificator or this, the, the slide isn't working properly. So, of course, a RetroLog is not an MPE program, so we better put it off and make sure that the range is from 1 to 16. So the channel range, all, channel, all 16 channels are put through. Also, we put the pitch range to 24 and not 48, because uh, that's the maximum. Anyway, Steinberg uh, let us do in Cubase. I don't know why, but we switch back to Cubase. And we put the Retrolog channel in monitoring. And then we put, uh, we click on the node expression tab. And as you can see here under, we see you have MIDI as node expression. You have to check this one, MIDI as node expression. That was we have to check on channel rotation. So check the MIDI as node expression and channel rotation on. Okay, so now we set up patch up the same way as we did with the Retrolog. I use patch up pro but it's the same with the standard patch up in Cubase. Put on the monitor. Make sure that it's only the first channel that's coming in. Check MIDI as node expression, channel rotation on and put the tuning node expressions, uh, set it to pitch bend, the cutoff to the aftertouch and the resonance to the CC74 brightness parameter. So if we do that, then we open patch up, uh, what do we have here, celestial crystal. Okay. Just 
to mention one thing, as we, uh, as you can remember, in the Rody desktop, we set up the pitch range uh, for 24 uh, units. Uh, standard, most of the, the, the sounds uh, in the library of Cubase, uh, no matter what instruments, are minus two, plus two, pitch bench, uh, pitch bent range. We have to set this to minus 24, 20, plus 24. In Cubase, we can go down as minus 48 and plus 24. I don't know why. I'm never. Well, if somebody knows, leave a comment because I have no idea. Uh, but the maximum is 24. So for us, the range is minus 24 plus 24. So now we can play pitch on two octaves on our board and it's working very well. Just another thing to mention. And it's the same for Retrolog and for Halion. If we use it uh, with note expression uh, in, in relation of the seaboard, um, we, for the moment, we only use four dimensions of the seaboard. Uh, we did not set up the fifth dimension, which is the, the, the lift dimension. So lift dimension is translated in a, by MIDI a controller message of a, a note off, which is uh, not possible to choose in patch shop, neither in Retrolog. If we look at uh, the modul modulation matrix here, for instance, uh, for the cutoff, just see, we can choose pitch, cutoff, resonance, distortion, blah, 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 blah. But no, 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 uh, note off. So no note off message can be chosen, which is quite rare actually, because it's uh, 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 a, a common thing to choose. So within Retrolog and Pet Shop, we can set up the, very well the seaboard, uh, seaboard rise with uh, making use of note expression and the way I said with uh, MIDI as note expression and channel rotation, but we can't uh, set up the, the, the lift par parameter, which uh, I really do hope that uh, Steinberg in the future give us an update or for uh, Cubase and their, their, their synths that we can choose, uh, lift off a MIDI controller uh, message in the modulation matrices. For instance, if we, if we go to Halion, uh, let's take a look at Halion here. I use a Halion 6, but you can use Halion Sonic or Halion SA. It's the same, I put it on one channel, uh, where are my note expression here. We checked media's note expression, channel rotation, and um, the tuning is to the pitch band. Here I have to set this to uh, after touch. There it is. And the slide, we have to set it to the CC74 brightness. If you don't have CC74 brightness in your um, here in the list, then you have to go to the MIDI controller setup where you will find it in the hidden section here. Of course, it's not that it's in a, for me it's in a visible CC74, which is the slide modificator. So we set it up. Bang. There it is. So now we have uh, the four uh, senses, uh, which is just a, no, a plain note on the volume. Uh, the tuning is working, uh, the pressure, the aftertouch is working. And if we dive into Halion and we go to uh, the modulation matrix, you can see that now we can choose a note of velocity. We have the note on, blah, 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 and the note of velocity. Why didn't Steinberg let us have the note of velocity in, for instance, the patch up and the retrolog? Beats me, but okay. So now we know that in Halion, and making use of the note expression, we can implement the, the, the fifth dimension of the seaboard, which is the lift, which is quite cool, actually. Um, let me see, what is the, I think here, I use um, Angry Aussie, an Angry Aussie, the Angry Aussies is a patch I made myself for one of my, uh, uh, one of my instruments, mm. I, I will make a future video about uh, the sounds which are coming in and uh, this will be for later, for the moment, so let's take a look. 
No, I think already we have all the parameters here. Uh, parameters here. Um, if uh, you want to implement, for instance, the lift off, let's okay. Let's try to implement quickly. Um, boop, boop, we put all put in the note of velocity, and let's say I change the pitch radically. I like to boop when you you give it off. Ah, you can hear it already. It's working, but I like it more when when I choose this this uh, uh, curve. It's a bit more appropriate. So I know. It's that easy to implement. Of course, we can fine tune this all to make it really. Uh, well, the way you like it to work, but at least we can see that we have all five dimensions in Halion and it's working really great. We can in fact, Seaboard Rise is really, really working very well with Hylian in Cubase by using uh, the note expression. One of the advantages using it, because uh, using it that this way, is that we can record a note expression. So if we can make a recording of our performance, it records um, the note expressions, which is quite cool because we can dig in after and uh, change things. But also because uh, we because it's uh, uh, we only use one instance of the program here. Uh, it's quite low on CPU, in fact, um, because as we will see later, we use Halion as a standalone. So without a note, making use of the note expression with the seaboard rise, which you can do, but then we have to transform it in a real uh, uh, multi-timber instrument. It's, we'll say we have to make 16 instances of, for instance here, the angry Aussies. So we have to copy this 16 times, which you can do easily by making use of uh, the Luma scripting. But uh, the problem is that, for instance, if you want to make use of the flex phraser, you also have 16 instances of the flex phraser going on and uh, all the, 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 for instance, the effects you put in, uh, reverbs, delays or whatever, it will be uh, copied 16 times in memory. And I must tell you that uh, using it this way, and for instance, if you use the flex phraser, immediately your CPU will spike out and it's very difficult to use it that way. Uh, you can only use uh, a Halion standalone with 16 inch uh, instances of a program if the program doesn't make too heavy use of a CPU hungry uh, uh, FX, FX or the flex phrase, for instance. Uh, but we will see that uh, right now, actually.